the highest paying jobs for career changers. That is the topic of today's video. And if you like this type of video, go ahead, gently tap that like button. Let's set the goal for a thousand likes. And I like my videos to be as social as possible. So go ahead, comment down below your thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have on your video and also share it with your friends because I don't have some big marketing department like all these universities do that want you to go $40,000 in debt. What? I just wanna teach you the best possible careers that you can get into with a lot less and a lot less time. But I have to rely on organic marketing because I don't have a million dollar marketing budget like these universities. All right, so let's go ahead, jump right into it with the first one on the list, which is digital marketing. Now there are several different types of digital marketing. It's one of my favorite careers out there. It's one that you can get into without a college degree. You can get into it without any experience or you can switch over from a career that you're not enjoying. So typically digital marketing is going to be social media ads. So the ads that you see pop up on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, etc. Also pay-per-click ads, so that's when you see something pop up at the top of Google or on a website. And search engine optimization, which is where you try to rank at the top of Google's search engine. Now, there are a lot of careers out there that have a ton of demand, but it's not at the entry level. They have a lot of demand for people who have years and years of experience. But usually these websites will only tell you how much demand there is for the career, and they don't tell you whether it's for people who have lots of experience or people at the entry level. And it certainly doesn't help that almost every job posting says they need like two to five years of experience, even for entry level jobs. However, if you looked at LinkedIn, they have a specific function where you can sort by entry level jobs only. And in the last month, there has been 92,000 entry level jobs posted for digital marketing. That is phenomenal. And on top of that, digital marketers make about $76,000 a year. I interviewed Keyshawn on this channel. I'll put that up like right here. He made about $50,000 in his first year and $70,000 in his second year after he decided to skip college and he didn't have any experience. And if you're interested in digital marketing and you want to learn more, you don't have to go to an expensive $15,000 boot camp. I happen to know the person who has probably gotten more people digital marketing jobs than any other human being on the entire planet, and that is Seth Jarrett. I also did an interview with him, and he does have a free masterclass where you can tell if digital marketing is a good idea for you. And if you don't believe me about him getting people jobs, he literally has thousands and thousands of reviews on his Instagram, and probably probably hundreds of reviews on his YouTube channel. So all you gotta do is just take a look. And his digital marketing masterclass, I will put down in the description below as well as the pinned comment. Next one on the list is another one that I like a lot that I talk about quite a bit on this channel and that is tech sales also known as software sales, business development representative, and sales development representative. So this is one that you can get into even faster than digital marketing, believe it or not. Uh, I am consistently seeing people get in in one to two months, whereas digital marketing tends to take maybe like three to six. But to be fair, more people tend to be interested in digital marketing versus tech sales. So it really just depends on your personality, which one's gonna be better for you. Now, when you type in business development, on LinkedIn, over the last month, there has been 284,000 job postings. When you type in sales development over the last month, there's 103,000, so absolutely ridiculous amount of demand at the entry level. And as a business development representative, you would expect to make about $79,000 a year, and you can make a heck of a lot more than that down the line. So yeah, another super, super solid career, definitely one that you should look into. Next one on the list is going to be web development. This is probably the easiest type of software development for you to get into. And this is, of course, software development for websites. So you're gonna help design and code the website. Now, the specific type of web development I recommend going into if you're a complete beginner is to become a web developer for something like Shopify, right? So Shopify is a super successful company. It's growing incredibly fast. It's not that hard for you to learn Shopify web development and start getting gigs, doing freelancing jobs, or even get a full-time position. And then you can start learning all of the other coding stuff from there. And guess what? You're getting paid to do it. Now, if you type in web developer on LinkedIn, you'll see 15,000 results in the last month at the entry level. And if you type in web development, you'll see 101,000 in the last month. So yeah, tons of demand for this one. Another super, super solid option. Next one on the list is very similar. In fact, they kind of go under the same umbrella, and that is software development, right? So there are 
boot camps out there for just about like every different type of software developer that you can become. So there's many, many different options and software development, much like doctor or lawyer, is starting to develop different specializations. So if you type in software development over the last month, entry level jobs, you're gonna see 300,000 results, ton of demand for software developers. Even if you type in software development engineer on LinkedIn over the last month, entry level jobs, you're gonna see 146,000 results. Now, I will say that out of all of them on this list, this is gonna be one of the harder ones for you to break into. Yes, there are a lot of boot camps, there's a lot of resources out there, but typically it's gonna take longer than just a few months, like you could get into with uh, digital marketing or tech sales. But it's definitely not impossible. Some people even just teach themselves, they don't even buy any products and they're able to get their first job as a software dev. And you can expect to make about $111,000 a year, which is phenomenal. The next one on the list is somewhat related and that's going to be a quality assurance analyst. Now there's several different names for this one. There's software quality assurance, uh, quality assurance tester, quality assurance analyst, and it is related to software development as well. But basically you are going to be testing software to make sure there's no bugs because bugs can cost the company something like 20 to $100,000 a day in some cases. And when you type in quality assurance on LinkedIn over the last month, entry level jobs, you're gonna see over 100,000 postings. And software quality assurance testers on Glassdoor make about $93,000 a year. Next one on the list, number six, is going to be information technology. And there's a lot of different specialties and sub careers that go under this one. But you can break into IT without getting a degree. You can do it by getting certification, self-teaching, and many other different methods. And I think everybody knows what IT is. It stands for information technology, and it's where you're gonna be working with computers and making sure that the infrastructure of the company's technology and computers are set up. And this could range from anything as simple as just setting up a desktop, you know, downloading software onto it, all the way to actually helping to design a software program that only that company uses. And when you type in information technology on LinkedIn, entry level jobs over the last month, you're gonna see 134,000 results. And like I said, information technology comprises a wide range of skill sets and specialties, but typically information technology overall, they make about $72,000 a year, but I can tell you, you can make a lot more than that if you specialize in certain areas. Next one on the list, very closely related to IT is going to be cybersecurity, right? So this one is very similar to IT, but it focuses more on the protection side of things. So making sure nobody can hack in, making sure there's no data leakage, et cetera. So you basically want to make data easily accessible to the people who need to see it, but at the same time safe to anybody else. And this sounds really easy to do, but it's actually incredibly difficult. Now, if you type in cybersecurity on LinkedIn, entry level jobs over the last month, you're gonna see 43,000 results. Computer security, you'll see 52,000 results. And for IT security, you see 62,000. And typically in cybersecurity, you can expect to make about $91,000 a year. Now, this is another one where it is a little bit of a stretch for you to get into it without a degree or without any experience. Um, and it's a little bit difficult for you to teach yourself as well. Hopefully there's gonna be some better resources that come out, but it's not impossible. You can still get into this without experience. And you can still switch into this from other careers, especially if you have a little bit of an IT background or you're good with technology. Next one on the list is going to be data analyst. So this one is all about collecting, processing, cleansing, transforming, and modeling modeling data. And data is incredibly valuable. There's articles that have come out saying data is more valuable than oil or gold. And it's true, data is more valuable than oil or gold. And that's why there's so much controversy with all these big companies that kind of like steal our data or you know take it without our permission and then use it to make a ridiculous amount of money off of us and manipulate us, et cetera. But I digress. If you type in data analyst over the last month at the entry level, you're gonna see 181,000 job postings. And if you type in data analysis, you'll see a mind boggling 410,000. There is such high demand for data analysts that Google actually came up with their own certification program to train people in data analytics. That's how much demand it was. These companies got so tired of trying to find people that they actually created their own program to train people in this skill set. So yeah, pretty valuable. You can also expect to make about $77,000 a year. Another really cool one you can look into, this is not entry level, but it is one that you can switch into if you have some experience in other careers, and that is project management. 
And this is basically where you lead a team in order to complete a goal within a company that has specific time and money constraints. Now, if you look at LinkedIn, you type in project management, not entry level, of course, because this is not an entry level job. You'll see over the last month, 529,000 job postings. And for project manager, you'll see 238,000. So tons and tons of demand for people who have this skill set. And project managers make about $98,000 a year. Now, another one that does get confused with project management quite a bit, and it is somewhat similar, so it makes sense, is going to be product management. And this is the process of planning, developing, and launching a product or service within a company. Now, product manager is definitely a higher level career than project manager. As a product manager, you're almost like an entrepreneur within a business because like, let's say an entrepreneur has to wear 15 different hats, right? They're the sales team, marketing team, they're the accounting team, the finance team, et cetera. A product manager might have to wear like 10 to 12 of those hats. Like they really do have to know a lot about a lot of different things. And this is another one that a lot of people tend to switch into later on in their career. It's definitely a great step up as well. And if you type in on LinkedIn product manager, you will see in the last month, there's 205,000 job postings and product managers make about $120,000 a year. If you enjoyed this video, don't leave. Check out my interview with Keyshawn. I'll put that right up here. He is somebody who got into digital marketing without any experience or a college degree. So I'll see you over there.